everyone and uh, elders. Uh, when I came here, you know, I <coughs> did not know anyone. Mm -hmm. So I was looking uh, for a church, you know, uh, the, the present denomination. So I have an uh, assembly address book. It, it was given by one of my friends. He is in Georgia, Alanda. He is from Burma. So uh, by the grace of God, I could find this assembly. So I have been here attending for only five months. Yes. So, <clears throat> and I prepared this PowerPoint uh, last uh, September 2018. Then whatever I share, uh, my school asked me to, you know, share about my testimony and ask to prepare the PowerPoint. So when I share my testimony, since I'm a little bit, uh, you know, poor in the speaking English. So this picture will tell more about my story. So <clears throat> first uh, I, want, I would like to share about my story. I was uh, uh, born and grew up from a small uh, village and developed remote, you know, area, small village. There is no bus, no transportation, no telecommunication, no high school. Till now, but through motorbike we can go to my village. So the Christianity was introduced uh, in 1975. So the uh, missionary met uh, my father. My father was a young guy, but he drank, and you know he he was not saved. Then he uh, you know came to know what is Christianity. So 1991-92, my father met uh, evangelist from the uh, Brethren Assembly. I don't know uh, where he, he met. From that uh, time, uh, my father was, you know, he uh, became a true believer. He know, uh, he uh, came to realize that what is the true gospel of Jesus Christ. So in my village, my father was the first convert and born again Christian among the village. So because of my father, I am blessed to know to come to uh, Christ. Yeah, it is also the blessed uh, thing to come to the United States. So from my country, it's very, very hard to come to the United States. We need so many proof and so many documents to come to the United States. And um, so, um, nine, uh, but uh, I uh, became born a, a born again Christian in 2009 and 2000. So, nine, 1999, no, 2000, yes. I was, uh, you know, I did not know about the true gospel, but uh, one, the, my father invited one evangelist. So he came and teach about the salvation, about the gospel, so that time I became a true Christian. So I'm, I committed my life to serve Jesus Christ. And um, <clears throat> 2003 and four, I went to Bible college, and to, I did my Bachelor of Theology, and I finished on 2007, and uh, I entered ministry in 2013, I think, full-time ministry. And so, uh, before that, I want to share about my village. So, till 1984, 1984, 85, uh, the whole village just were the enemies. You know what is enemies? Enemies. We um, worship many kinds of spirits and uh, demons. We sacrifice those spirits uh, to the animals. We kill dogs, chicken, cow, pigs. So when we sacrifice those animals, uh, you know, we sacrifice those animals in order uh, not to harm us. When someone is sick, 
So we have to shed the blood of a dog or a chicken and sacrifice to the demon. So now by the grace of God, um, you know, the whole villagers become Christians. So <coughs> that's uh, the blessings of God that the gospel has a power to change the life of the people. So that's what uh, I believe. So now <coughs> uh, I would like to share about uh, my uh, ministry. <coughs> now I am I live in uh, Rangoon, so my uh, I work up, uh, I uh, do my ministry in the slum area. You know slum area. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> actually, this church plant the ministry. I did not have any reason. But one of Friday and Saturday, I have outreach ministry every week. So Sunday and uh, Friday, uh, I spend uh, my time with the believers uh, on a Sunday especially. But Friday and Saturday, I go to the Salom area and share the gospel. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in Rangoon, those who have a house and apartment, we cannot go to them and share the gospel. But the Salam area, we can visit to any house. Their, their house is every day, every time open. They don't have door. Night time when they sleep, they do not close the doors. Because they are very poor, you know, uh, you will see the picture here. <coughs> uh, these are my friends, the workers. Uh, we have a praise networking ministry. It's a church pending ministry. Because, uh, you know, the, when I share the gospel, some people came to know Jesus and they committed their life to Jesus. So, um, they could not go, they could not join to any uh, church or assemblies. So, they do not have a uh, bus fare. So, they are struggling for their daily life and the food. Uh, in that area, no job is available. So, we, uh, they told me to have, as a, you know, small assembly. It's a home church. It's called home church. Mm -hmm. So now I say like uh, 20 or 30, some, uh, including the kids is 40, 50. So they, we, they, they are my friends. We are working together. And uh, yeah, this is a salam area. Where your people live. This is a salam area one. And Oh, this is Salam area too. In a way. Brother, can you please help me? I want to show my family pictures. I think I clicked it twice. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is uh, my family. Uh, my daughter's name is Lydia. Uh, my son is uh, Silas. And, you know, I met, uh, my wife is from different assembly. So since 2006, I was praying to, you know, for my life partner. After six for seven years I met her. You know, I she was teaching in a Sunday school class, and uh, you know she is, she was teaching the uh, Bible verses and some uh, songs to the Sunday school kids. When I saw her, you know, the whole 
uh, action and how you know uh, attracts me. So that time I, you know, I was thinking that uh, this, uh, this this lady will be very good for my ministry. You know, in outside I met many beautiful girls, but they look beautiful. But in my heart, uh, you know, I admire her. That she would be very good. So I met in the church. So young men, I want uh, all the young men. So I want to encourage: find a lady who is in the church. Don't go and find a lady who is outside the church. So the if we want to get married with the godly woman, you know, godly <coughs> women are in the church. So I met her. She is very, very helpful in my ministry. She, you know, as she was carrying the Sunday school kids, she is very good in caring our kids. She is very, very good. So the, um, I did not know her before, you know, since uh, she was uh, di from different assembly. So I, uh, I asked her number, you know, every night. I text her, you know, uh, that lastly I, I told her that I want to say some things, you know, because I want to propose her. And every night I send a text, after six months, you know, uh, I want to tell you and I want to, you know, choose you as my life partner. You know, he was surprised and he was nervous, so he didn't, she did not say anything. So after uh, you know some years, some months, she replied me. Let let's pray. That's what she, she said. You know, after one year, she said that yeah, I think God, yes, God's will that we meet here. That I accept you as my life partner. That was then but really, really, you know, happiness that I experienced in my life. You know, and I also come to know about the love of God. You know, for when I, I met her, I say, I love you, I, I, you know, I like you, I would like to you, uh, propose you as my life partner. And, you know, before she, she responded me, I did not feel anything. Once she re uh, replied and said, I love you, you know, in a paper, she, she wrote three sentences. Yes, first sentence, I have been praying for months. A second, I realize I know that this is the will of God. The third sentence, I love you. <laughs> so that letter I keep in my Bible. Whenever I wake up, I read. <laughs> and evening before I sleep, I, when I open my Bible, I read that letter. Till now I have that letter. So what I want to say is that one, if you experience the love of God through Jesus Christ, you cannot be, you know, live without praying, without reading the Bible, without coming church. If you don't have, you don't accept Jesus Christ, you will not experience the love of God. The love of God is in Jesus Christ. So today, what I, you know, I have see my wife writing, I love you. It's full of joy. In the world, I forgot everything. I, 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 I think every married man will experience that. You know, when we, uh, you meet your wife the first time, so, this is very, very good, and oh, this is a lot in the way uh, we are working. Now, this is some area too, and this is um, Sunday school hall, you know? So, in that salam area, we, we collect the uh, kids and teach some Bible verses, and share the gospel here. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes uh, we have uh, uh, Sunday worship. When we ship, uh, when we have a Sunday service there, sometimes people we do not see them. They used to stone, uh, throw the stone to this bu building. 
we do not know, maybe they do not like us, you know, worshiping God within their community. And, uh, yeah, this is the people, how they live. So they cook their, their food like that. Do you see? Outside their house. No electric current, no electric CD, no gas. So they, they use charcoal and wood in order to cook their fruits. And that's, that's all our, uh, the family of believers, you know, they're having dinner. So these are the Salam area, how the kids, uh, you know, they're living with the dogs. In the uh, Salam area, you will find many dogs. <coughs> Here are the, the sal uh, Salam area. And this is a Sunday worship service. Then uh, we uh, rent apartment uh, in order to have Sunday worship service. Uh, this is a Sunday school class. Uh, that's my wife teaching Sunday school kids. Um, Sunday school cl class. Uh, this is uh, uh, fast and prayer. Every Friday we have fast and prayer. Because uh, sometimes uh, we need uh, to pray more when we share the gospel. So every uh, Friday we have prayer meeting. This is Humsel. Uh, Humsel is, uh, you know, every evening, six or seven, six to seven, we have Humsel service. Every, you know, we visit to, uh, for example, this week, we will have a home sale service at someone's house next week to another house. It's a home sale service. And this is uh, the, you know, the baptism. These people, one, two, three, four, five, six, actually there were seven. So the first convert, this very big fragment from, she is from Hindus. She came from India. So, so when I was, you know, going around the railway, you know railway? Train, which you go to the train? Yeah. Uh, she lived near, yeah. nearby railway, so she does not have house. <clears throat> so I met her there and uh, she became uh, a Christian. She, she's from that, the God is from, uh, the rest are from the Buddhist. Mm -hmm. So we, bap we baptize them with, uh, inside the house. Because uh, when we go and baptize uh, them uh, in the river, when people, uh, their relatives see them, when they go back to their community, they will fight each other. Why, uh, why do you convert to Christians? You know, traditionally we, we, we were um, Buddhists. So why do you convert to Christians? So they fight for one another. So we didn't... We don't let others see them baptizing. So we baptize inside the road. Uh, sorry. Yeah, this girl, this girl is, um, the, uh, this girl is the third con convert. The, because every, uh, sometimes every Saturday or Friday, sometimes we used to uh, distribute uh, rice. We used to share the rice to the family because uh, they are struggling for their life, you know, their food. So she used to come to uh, the church to observe the Christians. After three, four months, I think, uh, she converted to, you know, she accept, accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior and Lord, and take the baptism, took baptism. So once he go back to her, uh, her home, what her, her husband is still, till now, her husband is Buddhist. Mm -hmm. well, what he said to her is that, I send you there to observe Christian, not to convert to Christian. <laughs> <laughs> so at home, they fight, you know, they fought each other. They have two kids. So you know what? What was uh, the interesting? Interesting. That what I see in highlight is that she said, "When I I worship and I pray uh, to my Buddhist God, uh, we I I never pray for my kid. 
I never pray for my food. But when I come to you, I can pray to Jesus to give me food. I can pray when my son, my kids are sick, I can pray for my kids in order to have good health. Mm -hmm. You know, every Sunday she come forward and sing song. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday uh, she can forward and read Bible verse. Every Sunday she come forward and share her testimony. How God is working mm -hmm. in her life. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I, when I, uh, you know, I share the gospel, sometimes I really, really get discouraged because, you know, I face many hindrance, hardship. But when I see people come to Jesus and, you know, <coughs> praising Him, then I really, really have joy mm -hmm. and peace, which is from Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> Yeah, this is from the uh, uh, home fellowship. I used to visit so when I had free time. Yeah, this is a biblical village. Go out to the high voice and uh, ages and compel people to come, come in. That my heart may be fair. Defend the weak and the fatherless of all because of the poor and the oppressed. Rescue the weak and the needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. This is a biblical building. So, since they are, uh, the, their, par uh, their parents are very poor, so they could not send their children to school. So, you know, lastly, you know, the Buddhist man came and collects all the children and take to the Buddhist school. So, uh, maybe God is willing, when I go back to Burma, I will, you know, I will do the mostly emphasize on the children ministry. And also, it's uh, easy to reach the young people more than the uh, old people. You know, old people are very difficult to come to Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, I thank you very much for this time. And now, uh, you can pray for my country. 94% of the population is Buddhist. You know, mm. only for uh, some people said the six percent is a Christianity. But last uh, 2018, I have had one uh, from YM, YMCA, G generous gift. He said that only four percent is Christianity. So we need to share the love of Christ to those people. So you can pray for me, for my country and also my family and sometimes I, I want to go back very very soon because some some people uh, they don't go to Sunday service regularly you know maybe because of some problem mm -hmm. and my after my graduation I'm going back to my country I will not be there some American friends ask me that I'm going to be in the United States no God called me to share the love of Christ in my country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I have a bar to come to the United States. When I read the history of the United States, it's very much interesting. You know, how the man of God brought the gospel to the United States. Mm -hmm. So you know, the United States, many Christians are rich with the word of God, mm -hmm. the Bible. You know, in Burma, we have uh, some translation books, but it's not very good. So I want to know English. And I want to know about the Word of God. I want to know, understand, you know, the Word, the word of God and how to share it. So now you can pray for me, for my theological study. I'm struggling with the language, the culture, <laughs> you know. And uh, so sometimes I would like to request you, when I speak, you know, it uh, may be very bad for you because uh, I have been here for just five months. Five months. I'm trying to speak well. 
I'm trying to understand the word of God. You know, when I think back I, about my village, it was the whole village were enemies. We did not know anything. We were under the power of sin. You know, when, when the gospel of the gospel brought to our uh, our village, Satan powerfully acted and worked. People suddenly died. One, you know, we have gospel sharing. When I think about trusting, I could not forget it. So I had the love of Christ to share to every people in my country. Mm -hmm. So please. Pray for me, my health. Sometimes, you know, when the weather changes, <laughs> I have problem. So I have asthma, so you can pray for my health, my family, and my wife. My wife is from different place. So maybe next February 22, she is going to meet my uh, family, my dad and my mom. So she, she, she is going to my village. She said, uh, dear, and spend for two weeks and we'll come back. So thank you very much. Uh, God bless you all. Mm. If God wills, you can come to my country mm. and see mm. how God is working. Mm. Thank you very much. God bless you. Mm.